President, le please be seated. The court is now back in session. Reprise de l'audience. And we would like to now hand over to the co-prosecutor to continue presenting the documents. À l'accusation qui pourra continuer à présenter ces documents. The President, uh, counsel for Mr. Mais Yang avant Sari, cela, la parole first. est à la défense de Yang Sari. Counsel Ang Odom, Maître Ang thank Odom. you, Mr. President, Merci and your Monsieur honors. Monsieur le Président, Mesdames, Messieurs Very les good juges. Again. À nouveau, bonjour à tous. May I request that uh, co-prosecutor refrain from Je prierai l'accusation de bien vouloir s'abstenir de présenter des documents en rapport avec les faits non litigieux, les faits déjà reconnus par Yang Sari. Cela, en effet, est inutile. The trial chamber issued an order La Chambre a rendu une ordonnance demandant aux parties de préparer des documents à présenter. Le 24 mars 2011, l'accusation a présenté une demande et nous avons réagi en présentant les faits que Yang Sari ne contestait pas. Je vous renvoie au document E9, stroke 21.3. Je ne peux pas m'exprimer au nom des autres équipes de défense. Assert our position Mais concerning en ce qui nous the concerne, facts, telle est notre position concernant these, les faits non litigieux. Uh, uh, Il est inutile de donner une lecture Nonetheless, even the de ce type de documents dans le préditoire. Si l'accusation souhaite réitérer ces faits non litigieux, je ne pourrai pas m'y opposer. Mais je pense que c'est inutile car ces faits ont déjà été acceptés. Je ne vais pas relire cela, rassurez-vous. Mais si j'ai lu ces faits non litigieux ce matin, c'est que la Chambre a dit que cette audience servait notamment à illustrer à l'intention du public avec des pièces, le rôle des accusés. Et si l'on procède à une distinction entre les différents types de documents, on n'a pas la situation d'ensemble. Mais rassurez-vous, je ne vais pas relire tout cela. J'aimerais passer aux vidéos. Your Honours, um, as, as my colleague has said, we've We're trying to go through Comme mon um, confrère, the documents in relation to Rang Sari in a chronological nous order les in a way. Sur Yang Sari par and then when we get to a certain type of document, and um, then we would stop and discuss documents, um, all of those documents, for example, the standing des committee documents meeting minutes, which we'll discuss shortly. En question, par exemple, But in a way, we're still in 1975 with the presentation. And I would like to et j'aimerais faire passer un extrait vidéo. It's E3 slash 2384 On y voit Yang Sari qui discute avec un journaliste en 1975 au sujet des raisons Phnom Penh pour lesquels, d'après lui, Phnom Penh a été évacué. Ça dure deux minutes et trois secondes. Il est très court. Il continue pendant 20 secondes. C'est le même extrait. J'aimerais qu'on le passe. Le président, je vous en prie, allez-y. Service technique, veuillez faire passer cet extrait. Vidéo clip.
As you have known, this problem was before liberation. I suppose that there were only about two million people had to be evacuated and worked. But obviously, soon after the liberation, people who lived in Phnom Penh and provinces increased up to about three million, in which we had prepared before. And the preparation can resolve the problem within five days for evacuating people in Phnom Penh and provinces, and people agreed to leave the city. And as a result, it was done smoothly, as du coup, we have seen. Déroulées, comme on a pu le the other reasons that led us to evacuate people les from Phnom Penh was that we knew clearly and received clear documents that before the liberation was done, in January, it started fighting until January and June. The enemy aware that they lost when Mekong was separated. The real reason for the evacuation was that it was a way to make Cambodia modern. The population had to be proletarized by establishing semi-industrial peasant producer cooperatives that swept an entire urban population into a system of re-education that was controlled by peasants and by the party through the poor peasantry. Secondly, the evacuation of Phnom Penh served to thwart uh, plans and plots to sabotage. Thank you, Your Honour. Um, just to be clear, that, that was the full length of the video. It wasn't cutting de done de la vidéo. Um, to uh, interpose Steve Hedder with uh, Yang Sari. That's how the video appears. Your Honour, also in 1995, um, published in Newsweek on the 8th of September, sorry, 1975, dans le Newsweek du 8 septembre 75, Yang Sari gave an interview Yang Sari a accordé James un Pringle, entretien à James Pringle, with, uh, Newsweek's Latin American bureau chief. chef du bureau de the Newsweek pour l'Amérique latine, E3-550. Cet entretien a été accordé par Yang Sari à la conférence des non-alignés à Lima. Um, as well provides some further insight into uh, the reasons for Phnom Penh Quant being evacuated de de Phnom from, Penh. The, from the mouth of Yang Sari. Indication donnée par Yang Sari. The, the article, if it can be shown on the screen, faire uh, English, the English version, uh, 000 000 to 04, et and the Khmer 0029-1035-0029-1038-0029-1038-0029-1038-0029-1038-0029-1038-0029-1038-0029-1038-0029-1038-0029-1038-0029-1038-0029-1038-0029-1038-0029-1038-0029-1038-0029-1038-0029-1
There were two reasons. Il y avait deux raisons. The first of which was la première food. était la nourriture. We thought there were two million on people pensait qu'il y avait 2 millions d'habitants à Phnom Penh, mais quand nous sommes entrés, nous avons découvert qu'il y en avait 3 millions. In the past, the US had Auparavant, les États-Unis transported from 30,000 to 40,000 tons of food into a month into Phnom Penh. Tous les mois, entre 30 000 et 40 000 tonnes de nourriture à Phnom Penh. We did not have sufficient transport to move food into the capital. Therefore, the people had to go where the food was. Par conséquent, les gens devaient aller là où elle se trouvait. And we had to finish furnish this food with independence and dignity without asking for help from any country. Sans demander l'aide d'un pays. What was the second reason? Yang Sari answered, we discovered a document detailing a secret political military plan by the U.S. Central Intelligence Agency and the defeated Lon Nol regime to spread confusion after our victory. There were three points to the plan. First, if we were unable to solve si the problem of feeding the population, le they would make trouble with agents infiltrated among the people. Second, many, many of the Lon Nol soldiers who waved white flags had in reality hidden their arms. They intended to attack us after we had taken Phnom Penh. Third, they plan to corrupt our troops and weaken their spirit of struggle with loose women, alcohol and money. Next question. Is Phnom Penh still deserted of population? Yang Sari replied, no, about 100,000 people have returned and others are returning little by little. Schools, hospitals and factories have gradually resumed their activities. People can go back to Phnom Penh if they wish, or they can stay in the countryside. All of our people are working day and night to rebuild the country. Cambodia is like a giant workshop. Further down the article, about five or six questions down, Yang Sari has asked the question, does your government respect the Buddhist religion of Cambodia? He replies, we respect the religious beliefs of everybody. People have the right to believe, but they must respect the state law. The pagodas in Cambodia are open. Next question, what happened to officers of the defected Lon Nol regime? Today they participate in agricultural production. We will applaud them if they are sincere and they can participate in our Cambodian national life. In our administration, we are using persons of the previous regime who are sincere. Is former Prime Minister Long Bore alive or dead? Answer, dead or not dead, he is a traitor and was judged by the people and Congress. I've now finished with that article, Your Honours. And if we can move to the topic of standing committee meeting minutes, which, as your honours have seen, are on the case file. Ces documents sont au dossier, comme le savent les juges. The first standing committee meeting minute that's on the case file is dated the the ninth of October, nineteen seventy-five. But before I discuss that one, I'd like to refer your honours to the statement of Q Sampan at E3 slash 27. In that statement, At Khmer 0015-6619, ou plutôt 19 si on prend l'interprète, et 0015-750 of the English, en anglais 0015-6750, voici ce que dit que s'en prend. 
In principle, the most important en body was the central committee, principal était le but in practice it was pratique, the standing committee. We can compare this to Parliament and the government in a parliamentary regime. regime. It is the government that conducts the day-to-day -day business les of state. Quotidiennes de l'État. And on that same page, même page uh, at the bottom, en bas, on Khmer 0015-6619, Q uh, Sampan talks about Sampan how frequently the standing committees met. Des réunions du comité uh, this is, of course, relevant in Ceci terms est pertinent, of determining the role of Yang Sari and Nguyen Chia, and, and obviously Q Sampan et bien as well. De Q Sampan he states, Voici ce dit. the Central Committee convened a meeting every six months from 1970 onwards. À de the Standing Committee met comité frequently, probably about every seven to ten days, tous les 7 à 10 or more regularly ou plus in emergencies. En cas as your honours are aware, um, on the case file, Comme le savent we have 19 juges, standing committee dossier, meeting minutes, 19 PV de réunion du comité um, and clearly not the, the copies for seven to ten days over that three and a half year period. Nous n'avons pas les PV de toutes but les réunions those, qui se sont tenues tous les sept à dix jours au cours de cette période. Of minutes that have been obtained, parmi les PV, I would ask that we look at E3 slash 27. 27. Sorry. Not, not that one. Excusez -moi, pas um, E3 slash 182, which is the first standing committee meeting minutes le PV de that du uh, we have on the case file. Dont nous disposons In that document, dossier. there's no Dans record document, as to who is present. On n'a pas de liste de participants. However, Toutefois, it's an important standing committee meeting minute in that it designates the roles of Yang Sari and, uh, and other Yang accused. accused. And if we look at um, the first page, Khmer 0019108, and English 00183393, en anglais, we see that the delegation of work is listed que la in orders du 1 to 13. And the first person delegated with work is Comrade Secretary, il y a general responsible désignée. over military and the economy. The second is Comrade Deputy, Deputy Secretary, Party Affairs, Social Action, social, Culture, Propaganda and, and Education. And the third is Comrade Van, 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 which is Foreign Affairs Work, both Party and State. À la fois pour le parti um, et the documents um, generally show, the Les other standing committee minutes generally show that the listing of uh, party or the standing committee members is often done in a sequential order from Pol Pot to Nguyen Chia to Yang Sari. Yang Sari. And we would submit that is significant uh, nous, in terms of trying to understand si the hierarchy in the party. What's also significant about this standing committee meeting minute in terms of defining the role Réunion, of uh, Yang Sari is that he's been charged with foreign affairs work both party and state, not just et pour in external relations with state, but external relations, relations in relation to parties. De the parti. other significant thing about these meeting minutes is that PV they are incredibly significant in their designating roles of CPK en effet, members in running the country. Le rôle des and dirigeants it du PCK really, dans uh, I would submit, uh, is an indicator moi, of how important this standing committee was, um, the fact that it's able to um, designate how the party and how the country is run. Du fonctionnement du parti et the, de du pays. If we look at uh, page three in the Khmer, la page du um, we can Khmer. also see from these minutes that the standing committee is in fact the most important body in the CPK during PCK. that time. 
au cours de cette période. And if we look at Khmer 0019-1090, and English 0018-0018-0018-0018-0018-0018-0018-0018-0018-0018-0018-0018-0018-0018-0018-0018-0018-0018-0018-0018-0018-0018-0018-0018-0018-0018-0018-0018-0018-0018-0018-0018-0018-0
and they're there talking about quel organisme about, um, il a combattu a particular member et puis les questions that quote is in english 00183404 Donc, Before I move on to a, a few more standing committee Avant meeting minutes, à d'autres PV de réunion um, du comité permanent, I've spoken that on the case file there's 19. J'ai indiqué qu'au um, dossier il y en avait 19. The evidence by 19. looking at those documents on the case file, we can see that documents. Yang Sari attended at least 10 of them. A assisté à au moins 10 de ces réunions. And taking into account Q Sampan's evidence that the meetings were held every seven to ten days. Certainly, years that all of the many meetings were held every seven to ten days. Certainly, years that all of the many all of the many meeting minutes have not been obtained. Il est évident que nous ne disposons pas de tous les meetings de réunion. Your Honour, the ten standing committee meeting minutes Yang Sari is recorded to as attending are on the second of November, nineteen seventy-five. E three two two seven. Twenty second of February, nineteen seventy-six. 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 Twenty The 11th of March, 1976, E3-217. 13th of March, 1976, E3-233. 23rd of May, 1976, E3-219. 7th of May, 1976, E3-221. Ce sont là les PV de réunion auxquels a assisté Yang Sari. Je vais passer en revue brièvement quatre autres PV de réunion du comité permanent et les questions de la politique en matière d'affaires étrangères, des ennemis dans ce contexte. Countries that represent a threat to Cambodia, and individuals who threaten the party, and individuals who threaten the party, and key decisions on the acceptance of the Cambodian Constitution, and key decisions on the acceptance of the Cambodian Constitution, and key decisions on the acceptance of the Cambodian Constitution, and key decisions on the acceptance of the Cambodian Constitution, and key decisions on the acceptance of the Cambodian Constitution, and key decisions on the acceptance of the Cambodian Constitution, and key decisions on the acceptance of the Cambodian Constitution, and key decisions on the acceptance of the Cambodian Constitution, and key decisions on the acceptance of the Cambodian Constitution, and key decisions on the acceptance of the Cambodian Constitution, and key decisions on the acceptance of the Cambodian Constitution, and key decisions on the acceptance of the Cambodian Constitution, and key decisions on the acceptance of the Cambodian Constitution, and key decisions on the acceptance of the Cambodian Constitution, and key decisions on the acceptance of the Cambodian Constitution, and key decisions on the acceptance of the Cambodian Constitution, and key decisions on the acceptance of the Cambodian Constitution, and key decisions on the acceptance Bar 227. Khmer page 0019127. 2 novembre 1975. If we look at the first page of those minutes, we can see the attendance records. And if it can come up on the screen, we can see that Comrade Paul Paul Pot is listed first, Nguyen Chia second, and Yang Sari is listed third. And in these minutes. The issue of relations with Thailand and Vietnam, preoccupation and discussion about the threats from both of those countries. The question of relations with Thailand and Vietnam, the menace is now in the country. The menace represents the country. So, significant matters of national security were discussed at that particular meeting. And if we can now move to E3, E3-230, this is a standing committee meeting minute on the 22nd of February 1976. The Khmer version is 000-0711. And again, if we look at that, that meeting minutes, we can see, if it can be shown on the screen, we can see that Pol Pot is listed first, Nguyen Chia second, and then Yang Sari is listed third. Just underneath that, 
Et juste en dessous it, de cette the meeting reports that Comrade Vaughan, Comrade Took and Comrade Van brought up a number of matters relating to industry, commerce and transport and the matter of Yugoslavia. And then it states that Ankar gave the following opinions and instructions in relation to um, aid, salt production, etc. At that meeting, it's significant that at point five, which is Khmer 000 0712, that at point five it states adding forces that there was a proposal to use additional adolescent children from the base areas and handing them over to industry for management. From that from those meeting minutes, it's, it's quite clear that um, Yang Sari's role enabled him to bring up matters, um, of significant matters, and he was present when discussions were had in relation to uh, putting children to work. If we look at the 28th of February 1976 meeting minutes, six days later, at E3 slash 238, we can see that that meeting, uh, Yang Sari was reporting. Yang Sari it states, a, reporting by uh, Comrade Van. Il est marqué, par le Van. He, he talks about, he, he discusses the aid from Sweden, financial aid from Sweden, and he discusses, Suède, uh, discusses financial aid uh, uh, from Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia. And then at the end of the meeting, it states that uh, analytical, analytical opinions of Ankar, and opinion, then they provide their particular views. Et voici les opinions at part, part B, which is Khmer 0007-2459, in French 0044-6631, um, the opinion of Ankar is stated as um, Military and economic viewpoints also see that no force to invade us, we also make friends in the world. Normally in the capitalist country, always has CIA or Soviet agents that sometimes its government is not aware of. But after monitoring, their general policy is all right. Again, discussion of uh, issues as uh, traitors and enemies at that particular meeting. And the last one, Your Honours, that uh, I would like to uh, look at by way of example is the 17th of May 1976. And that uh, is at French 0032 slash. 223, E3 slash 223, Khmer 00001890, okay, and English 0018-2708. At this meeting, Yang Sari reported on the activities of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs um, to Pol Pot. You can see that on the, on the first page. page he, he further uh, discusses um, down, down the paragraphs. Our side has educated our brothers and sisters to hold meetings, keep confidentiality, and be vigilant. You can see that. In any event, that's in the fourth paragraph down mm -hmm. from uh, Diplomatic Relations of Phnom Penh. So it can be seen that um, Yang Sari, who again is listed as third at that meeting, Sari, um, is discussing um, issues uh, relating to uh, vigilance and uh, presumably in relation to um, vigilance uh, in, in sort of building the socialist revolution. Et la construction de la révolution socialiste. And if we look at uh, page, page 0018 in the English, and we can see French 0032-3896, we can see that Yang Sari reports in relation to the embassies in Phnom Penh to continue to educate male and female youth who are in service, for them to upgrade the spirit of revolutionary vigilance especially teach them how to report to the ministry and the ministry in turn 
rapport à l'office de l'Office de l'Office de de l'Office de another topic and that's the topic of uh, tele <coughs> telegrams and like <coughs> the standing committee meeting minutes um, telegrams another group of documents which the evidence shows that uh, Yang Sari has been copied in on on um, what is calculated from the, ca the case file at least 100 occasions I'd like to present uh, the document E3893. This is a telegram dated the 26th of January 1976. And I'd like to refer to um, the first two paragraphs of the telegram, telegram where It's to brother donc, uh, 870, office 870, office 870, and brother V with respect. 870. And it states, we would like Et to report v. about the result of a 24 Je January meeting with the Vietnamese de delegation. Du 24 avec la délégation There were six in the delegation, headed by Liu Yang, deputy chief of the zone military, Vietnamese side. He told us that his colleague named Hu was sick and could not come, but we noticed that they were supposed to have chief of their zone's military head the delegation to meet us, but changed from the head of delegation to deputy chief of the zone's military, because we changed from cadre to the regiment to chief of zone military. He is old and has very deep thoughts. Then the telegram goes on to discuss um, issues such as border incursion by the Vietnamese and the Cambodian and disagreements there. And, and at paragraph six, at the end, close to the end of the telegram at the bottom, it states the argument was very difficult. They put a lot of pressure on us, but we managed to maintain our standpoint, and we had much confidence because our superiors to them, especially after we showed them our map. We're able to keep the atmosphere of solidarity. We assumed that we achieved good success for the first step. You can see at the end of that telegram, it's copied to Pol Pot, Nguyen Chia, Yang Sari, Brother V, Brother Q, v, Q, Brother Dun, Bang Dun, Brother Q being Sun Sen. So it's, it's clear these telegrams demonstrate that um, Yang Sari is being apprised of uh, the military situation on a, on a regular basis. Perhaps if we can look at the next telegram, which is E3-995, and it's dated the 19th of March 1978, later during the DK period, as a telegram from Kang Chap alias Se to Committee 870, especially, particularly, copied to Yang Sari, and if we look at the end of the document again, to Uncle, James Pol Pot, Nguyen Chia, Yang Sari, Brother Van, Brother Von, Ms. Von Vett, and Office 870, members of the Standing Committee. Now this telegram is a report on the enemy situation in the zone, including the systematic purge in the North Zone. The paragraph that's relevant in terms of how, uh, how exposed and how uh, Yang Sari is and, and other members are to discussions about purging, if we look at uh, paragraph 00019202, this is what the telegram says. The situation of undercover enemies burrowing from within. Des This dry season, the enemy, rem, enemy, enemy remnants raise their heads back up. 
and conducted activities of opposition against us in the work sites. These enemy remnants made contact with police, soldiers, civil servants, all of whom disguised themselves as new people. It was only after they conducted activities of opposition against us that we clearly recognized their faces. In conjunction with this, we systematically swept them cleanly away. As of this today, undercover enemies burrowing from within situations has gone quiet. A number of soldiers, police and civil servants fled after we swept approximately 20 heads of them cleanly away. We are continuing to take further measures to find and arrest them. As for the undercover enemies in the Priavihir sector, they no longer exist after we took and are continuing to take further measures to sweep them cleanly away. That's copied to Yang Sari uh, and uh, the other standing committee members. Uh, we submit it's a very relevant and probative document, that type of document, ce type de document. in that Yang Sari is participating um, through in the knowledge chain of uh, targeting the enemies. The last telegram, Your Honours, telegram is E3 E3 slash 157, which has just been used uh, by way of an example que of the telegram. It's been sent to um, the telegram Yang Sari. E3 slash 157, a telegram from the 21st of April from Un Meng, alias V, the Northeast Zone Secretary. It's copied to Yang Sari. It describes border clashes with Vietnam and the execution of internal spies and traitors. In particular, this telegram informed Yang Sari that spies have entered locations twice. We smashed some and some escaped. Internal traitors have been swept clean and their responses have been extracted successfully. In closing on the telegrams, à la fin du Telegram, Ronald, we would submit that these few telegrams of enfin, the hundred or so that's on the Telegram case file illustrate that Yang Sari had a monitoring role as a, as a senior Sari leader, as a member of the standing committee, uh, as to um, the activities of surveillance uh, donc des membership. activités des membres um, du and PCK that included, et des activités qui comprennent uh, notamment l'exécution um, and internal enemies des ennemis within the country au sein du pays. Your Honours, I would now <coughs> like to uh, move back again in the chronology to the 30th of March 1976 because we're moving to a, a different type of decision. And uh, it's E3-12, e which is the um, a Central Committee decision on the 30th of March 1976 regarding the right to smash inside and outside the ranks. Your Honours have seen this decision before, and on the, the first page of the decision it states the right to smash inside and outside the ranks objective that there is a framework in absolute implementation of our resolution to strengthen our socialist democracy, all this to strengthen our state authority. If in the base framework to be decided by the Zone Standing Committee, surrounding the centre office to be decided by the Central Office Committee, Les independent sectors to be decided by the Standing Committee and the Centre Military non. to be decided by the General Staff. Du central, la en comité, In this central. document Dans itself, la la um, en it gives the Standing Committee, uh, amongst other committees, um, the power to, um, to smash, to kill. Donne au comité, pluriel, le uh, Yang Sari, in, in terms of um, how does this relate to the role of Yang Sari? Yang Sari is on the Central Committee, eh bien, Yang Sari and Yang Sari au was on the Standing Committee. Et au Your Honours, I would briefly like to turn to E3-210, e 
210. Which is a statement from Q. Sampan. Il s'agit d'une déclaration de Q. Sampan. Dated at the 14th of December 2007. Du 14 décembre 2007. And at page Khmer version 0015669169. And English en anglais, 00156949. Q. Sampan um, talks about um, the disappearance and breaches and, and who approves them. He, he's, he gives this answer. In relation to the excesses which have been denounced during auto criticism, I would like to give an example. A number of cadres believe it appropriate to punish those who committed adultery by shaving half the hair from their heads and exposing them to the public. Such mistakes were denounced and corrected. In relation to the arrest at Priya Vahir province, they did occur, but the prisoners were released. There were breaches committed at the local level, but the leaders did not approve them. Finally, in relation to the disappearance of the members of the Central Committee and the Standing Committee, everyone seemed to approve. But I did not know the extent part, or the scope of the arrest. That's significantly uh, probative, we would submit, in light of the standing committee, the Central Committee decision um, authorizing uh, smashing at, at different levels. So, Your Honor, those particular doc documents demonstrate. Um, Yang Sari's um, exposure and de developing role uh, in the que killing Yang policies. policies. Et à de ces also, a point which I um, did not make is that in Kyu Sampan's interview, chose. Dans uh, le E3 slash 210, de, de, de Sampan, le 3 he was asked um, on lui about a... um, speeches. And he said, I would like to specify that the speech I delivered at Colombo was written by me, for me, by Yang Sari. This was not an individual case. During the visits of Nu and Chia and Von Vett to Beijing, their speeches were written by Yang Sari. I brought up the examples of Hu Nim and Hu Yun, but I only learned the information about the rest of these two people after 1979. The point of that, which is at 0015-6689, is that seemed to be a, a further role of Yang Sari during the period in writing um, speeches for, um, other, for other um, senior party members. Your Honours, I would now um, like to turn back again to the 30th of March, um, to, to, sorry, the 5th of October 1976, and I'd like to talk about another group of documents that uh, relate to speeches um, given by Yang Sari um, to the General Assembly of the, of the United Nations. The document I'm referring to is E3-607. And it's dated um, yeah, 5th of October 1976. And it's interesting that the speeches um, that, is, uh, that are given by Yang Sari, and, and using this document as an example, they reflect um, the rhetoric of the, sac the statute. Um, about uh, the importance of being having solidarity with uh, other non-aligned countries um, and anger vented at uh, a capitalist and imperialist countries. And also, even in public speeches, um, Yang Sari public, is quite Sari, uh, bold, shall I say, in, in relating to discussing issues 
uh, relating to enemies. And I, if I can refer to 00816624 of the Khmer and 00586804 uh, in English, and he states in his speech, since liberation, we have successfully defended Depuis la libération, and consolidated the gains of the revolution. Les gains de la revolution. There is security throughout our territory. La However, our own experience and that of other revolutions in the world Mais notre have taught us that after their defeat, dans le monde, nous the American nous imperialists, lackeys, and other reactionary forces Fallait continue relentlessly to oppose our country, défaite, our people, and our revolution. Since it is impossible, if not difficult, for them to attack us openly from the outside, they are striving to rally the rump of the forces of perfidy, perfidy in order to carry out actions of subversion, provocation, division, and undermining inside our country and also to intervene in our internal affairs. Thanks to our continuous revolutionary vigilance and tight unity, our nation, our people and our army have inflicted upon them some severe defeats. But guided by their aggressiveness and blinded by their vaulting ambition, the American imperialists their lackeys and other reactionary forces are unwilling to learn the lessons of their defeat and persist in pursuing their criminal activities. There can be no doubt that our people and revolutionary armed forces inflict upon them in all independence and sovereignty further new and ignominious defeats. Your Honours, that statement is a public statement to the United Nations uh, General Assembly, public, and it's Assemblée Générale des Nations submitted that the, the document is uh, probative in that it reflects exactly what was happening in uh, the Standing, standing Committee meeting, what was happening um, in communications um, with forces throughout Cambodia via telegrams in uh, smashing cleanly away or um, killing um, internal enemies. The, the, the public statements and the uh, private statements or private documents, those minutes and the telegrams submitted um, corroborate each other and that's particularly, particularly relevant. If I can move to the next document, and it's again, it's in relation to the document number is La Cote. A. Um, it's, um, I haven't got the E number with me, but it's D366 slash 7.1.820. And the document stated uh, the 20th of September, uh, 19, 1978. This, this, Honor, this document um, doesn't have an E number, and we've checked uh, Your Honor's decision in relation to um, annexes that the prosecution has put forward. And uh, this document, in fact, uh, wasn't rejected by the decision. There was a 20 or 30 or so documents that were rejected. Um, this one wasn't rejected, but still, um, through our, our sort of research, still hasn't received uh, an E3 number on the system. So. And that's why I'm not quoting an E3 number, but um, I would only ask if uh, perhaps um, a case manager could have a look to see um, what has happened uh, with, that, with that one not being given an E3 number. Your Honour, this, um, this document is a telegram uh, from, from Yang Sari uh, that was sent to the Sub-Commission on Discrimination and the Protection of Minorities, which is part of the, the Human Rights Commission of the UN. De 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 and it was a telegram dated the 16th of April 1978 uh, from the Minister for Foreign Affairs, Democratic Campuchia, addressed to the Sub-Commission, 
Donc, après and then la the subcommission on the 20th September, as you can see from the document, forwarded that, forwarded that on um, to members. Aux membres. La tapette signale que la cote est D366 bar 7820. Donc, dans ce document, on voit que Yang Sari a fait la déclaration suivante. From the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Ou du moins le ministère des Affaires étrangères We reject a fait la déclaration suivante. Nous rejetons la décision de la sous-commission as an impudent interference in internal affairs dans By that decision, the subcommission supports the activities of traitors to their country and the maneuvers of American imperialists Alors, and their partisans who after committing immeasurable crimes against the people of Kampuchea massacring more than a million inhabitants of Kampuchea and destroying 80% of Kampuchea continue to defame democratic Kampuchea, to whitewash their crimes. The United people of Kampuchea is master of its own destiny, and after three years of effort, has succeeded in solving fundamental problems. Self-sufficient in food, is building and defending the country in complete independence and sovereignty, and relying on its own strength without recourse to anything from the imperialists. Sans avoir recours As in the past, de la part people in government of democratic Kampuchea will make mincemeat of any criminal maneuvers of the imperialists and their partisans. They will not tolerate any affront to the sovereignty of Kampuchea. Kampuchea. Minister of Foreign Affairs, Democratic Kampuchea, 16th of September 1978. Your Honor, that statement uh, was in response to and I'll read out the footnote so it's put in context. It's in response to a resolution uh, 11, number 31, adopted at its 826th meeting on the 15th of September 1978. The Subcommission on Prevention of Discrimination and Prevention Prevention Protection of Minorities decided to request its chairman or such member as the chair may wish to appoint to analyze on its behalf the materials on the situation of human rights in democratic Kampuchea which were before the subcommission in Donc, accordance with decision 9 of the Commission of Human Rights, together with the comments and observations made by the subcommission and other relevant materials which may be received by the Gen General Secretary General for the 35th session of the Commission. Session de commission. And to prevent his analysis to the Commission, present his analysis to the Commission with the recommendation that the Commission give this matter highest priority at its 35th um, session. session. That document is a clear um, uh, a rage directed at uh, the UN for um, other countries raising uh, concerns of uh, human rights abuses in um, September 1978. That behavior that could be seen in that letter we submit Cette is significant in understanding Yang Sari's role, pour comprendre le role de Yang in the Sari regime during that period. Au sein du régime au cours de cette période. The President. Thank you, Mr. Co-Prosecutor. Co we believe that it is now appropriate a moment ready for the lunch adjournment. The chamber will adjourn until 1.30. So I'm Jane Groucho.